Hey, what is going on guys? I am the Explosive Gamer and welcome to Chatting with Explosive episode 5, the real number 5. Because I know last week, I, or the, actually the week before last, I uploaded, was it? I don't remember how long ago it was. The, the last time I tried to upload Chatting with Explosive, that was number 5 and it didn't work. So this is the real number 5. Anyway, so I... Uh, got some new audio equipment or audio accessories, I guess, because it's not really equipment. Um, it's for my mic. It's for my microphone, and I will be getting a pop filter soon. Uh, that is a D cooler pop filter. I have the boxes to them here. So here I got the shock mount is the Samson SPO4 G Track Condenser Microphone Shock Mount. It is a spider style shock mount. Provides enhanced isolation for Samson G-Track and fits all standard mic stands. It's cool, eh? It is cool. I, I am happy about this. Um, it was worth it. It was $45 I got it for off of Amazon. It was worth it. It was worth $45. I know there was, there was a couple of different prices listed. There was like um, uh, 45 which is the cheapest one, and that was free shipping as well. And then there was a 51 which free shipping, and then there was like, oh, whoops, hit my microphone. <laughs> hit the entire thing i hit the boom stand and the shock mount all with one foul swoop anyway but um yeah so a yeah what was i saying and there's like a 60 dollar version i don't know i got the cheapest one that had free shipping and it was worth it. it it came in good condition so yeah my my boom stand here is the recording professional microphone stand recording microphone i don't know that's all it says and there's a lot of like chinese or korean all over it i don't really know what uh uh, languages these are. I think it's Korean and Japanese, actually. I have no clue. I don't read either language. So put those boxes away. Uh, moving on to what I... Some more new things. What I hit? Weird. Anyway, I feel like I hit, I hit the mic again. I am sorry about that. Anyway. Um, I'm streaming more. So I guess I said this in my update video that I did um, on Friday. But... Um, I'm streaming more, I'm doing more uh, just random streams. I Actually, the last stream I did was a World at War Custom Zombies stream. Uh, I got a few people to come out to that. Um, so if, if you're wondering how to, how to know when I'm streaming, either go follow me on Twitch. There is a link in the description, and there forever will be, I think. I'm going to have that yeah, in the defaults. I think it already is. I don't remember. Anyway, you can go down there, check out my Twitch. Um, also, you can go follow me on Twitter, where... I tweet out every stream I do, more than once, and then also you can go follow me on Vision Social, which is a social network that the owner of Vision Network, who I am, who who with whom I am partnered with, um, Joe McClung, he he started this uh, Twitter-like social network that is uh, based around YouTubers and content creators. Uh, so it's easier for you to share your videos. And there's already people on there with 50 plus uh, followers, uh, which is really cool. So if you go if you go check me out there, it is free for everyone. It's an open beta right now and it's, and it's free for everyone to go try out. Um, con content creator or not, uh, you can go check it out and follow your favorite vision social or vision network uh, partners uh, and, and other people that are just using the site um i am one of them if, if you want to go follow me over there uh just go to vision social dot uh dot us i'll have the link in the, in the description i'll put that down there uh now um also um i uploaded some call of duty uh, advanced warfare videos with uh advanced warfare gameplay from charlie intel uh their youtube channel i uh downloaded that from there and surprisingly, I don't know why this didn't happen with Ghosts last year when I took uh, like I borrowed gameplay from other other channels. Um, I, I didn't get flagged, and it's kind of surprising. I thought I really thought I'd get flagged for doing this, but uh, I didn't, and I'm happy for that. And I say thank you to whoever was looking over and didn't flag me. So yeah, that is awesome. Um, uh, and if you guys do want to go check them out, they are on my channel. Uh, not that hard to find. Um, also, uh, I am starting to play Battlefield 3 a lot again. Um, I did a video with Calamity. Oh, and, and a few um, solo. 
Uh, I did two soul. You see the first one already, and you'll be seeing in the next week after this video goes up, you can see the one with me and Calamity where we just ramble on, and at the end something happens. I'm not going to say what. Um, but we... I don't know what I want, I don't want to say, but I, I I played that, and me and Calamity are that that was actually a really fun game, uh, that that game we played. It was our first, it was both of our first games of Rush. Uh, we didn't really know what the fuck we were doing really, but Rush is really fun. I've never actually played before that. I haven't played. I had never played it, and I thought it was actually really fun. And uh, if you guys are Battlefield players, um, and according to unknown, Battlefield 3's Rush was the best Rush. So uh, that's that's. Um, I'm gonna go off of his word and say, you know, if you don't play Battlefield, uh, go go find out uh, how much you can get Battlefield 3 um, for PC or any other console you can get it for, and uh, try out Rush. Rush is really fun. Um, oh, and I finally fixed my Titanfall. About six, five or six months ago, I bought Titanfall for PC. I know someone would be like, oh, Titanfall, boo, get dead game, boo. Um, but I bought it for PC when it wasn't so dead, and, um, wait, when did that game come out? March this year? I don't, I don't remember exactly when I bought it. I think I bought it in June or something, so it wasn't six months ago. I don't, I don't really know when I bought it. Um, so it would, it would have been, so, I think, I think I bought it in May, April or May. I don't remember exactly when I got it. So anyway, I bought it and then installed it. And then there was some problem with one of the updates that, that totally screwed over my entire origin. So that's why I didn't play Battlefield 3 at that time. So now I have it. I fixed the problem. I ran like three different um, uh, virusware or virus protection programs or whatever. AVG and Norton, I think I ran. And I ran some other one too. It, it fixed the problem. I didn't. That wouldn't. That's not why I ran the ran, ran the virus protection thing. Because you know, I just you know it's a good thing to do every once in a while. So I did it, and then I went. I was like, hmm, I wonder if it fixed it. So I went, and it fucking fixed it. So I played Battlefield. I didn't. Even, I, so I installed Battlefield Three, and then I installed um, uh, Titanfall. Titanfall doesn't run so good, uh, and plus, it's not really a fun game. No one really plays it. Oh, okay, that's a lie. It's a fun game, but no one really plays it, so it's not fun. Um, Anyway, it, it's it's fucking you know that game. I play the campaign. That's all I can play. That's all. It's all the people are in is in the campaign. So um, if you're gonna go play Titanfall on PC now, go play the campaign because uh, that's really be that's where you'll easily find um, people playing Titanfall. Um, but because I tried to join an attrition game and I sat there for 15 minutes waiting for someone to join and then we finally I finally found a full game and I played it. Um, but it really wasted my time sitting there and waiting and waiting to get to, into Titanfall. So, um, that is honestly really, really dumb that that happened. But, um, it did, I fixed it, so hey, it's cool. Um, anyway, getting on to some news. Uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer reveal and gameplay has been released. Um, gameplay, as you know, that I put on my channel, uh, the gameplay, from what I can see, looks like it actually will be fun. Um, the gameplay, uh, what I think of, um, I guess, it looks like it might be confusing to learn all the, uh, the, 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 uh, exo boosts and jumps and shit, but it's all really, all it is surrounded by is on the, the sprint button, so it's sprint left, and, and, like, you press back and sprint, and then press, and whatever, and then forward, you sprint normally, but then if you double jump, you can double jump, press, press X or A twice, and then you can, uh, dash either forward, or if you don't move, if, if you press forward and then dash, you move, you'll dash, and, uh, bleh, press forward, and then push down on the uh, right thumbstick when you're in the air you'll dash forward or and then also all the other angle uh different uh, directions um also there is the boost slam which you just hold that i uh, just press it not pushing in any direction specifically just press it and you'll go in a, in a downward angle uh, towards the ground and if only if you land directly impact and only if directly impact someone will it kill them otherwise if if you have overcharged it will stun them um, but yeah, it, it sounds a lot simpler than I actually thought it would be. Um, so anyway, they also have an, the no exo playlist where you don't get any exo abilities, exo, what all that and what for you, you get, um, and you don't have any of the jumps on anything. So you just have a straight up call of duty in uh, above average maps. 
uh, in size because you know you have to do all the movements and stuff. It makes it easier. Uh, also, they're th- uh, call Activision capitalizing on the World of War, World, uh, not World of Warcraft, just Warcraft movie, and also Ubisoft um, opening a movie studio to make uh, the Assassin's Creed movie and other movies of the sorts. Um, Activision jumps on top of that and is like, okay, hmm, what's their biggest? Oh yeah, Call of Duty. We're gonna make a Call of Duty movie probably. Is they're probably gonna make either a Call of Duty movie, a uh, Skylanders movie, which actually would be cool, and also some other different Activision games that are out there. Fucking whatever, you know. They need money. That's all they're really thinking. So, um, Destiny movie, even though Destiny is pretty much a movie of its own. Um, anything, any, any other Activision game is really going to be put into a movie, uh, possibly. Um, and I, 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 you know what, I'll watch them. I will watch them, but I will not enjoy them. I can say that much. I probably won't enjoy them. So... Anyway, uh, moving on to the end of our video here, uh, we are doing either.io, which is um, ra- you rather.com. Uh, we are doing some would you rather questions here. Um, so here's our first question. Would you rather be stabbed 10 times in the stomach or get shot in both kneecaps? So I'm assuming if we get stabbed ten times in the stomach, there's not a lot of room down there, especially on me. I'm a, I'm a I have a small body and really long ass legs, so my stomach is a small area, and um, stabbed ten times, I probably I either bleed to death, just die from shock, going to shock and whatever, and die anyway. So death or life with no walking. So I don't really need to walk a lot. I don't walk a lot anyway. So so, and, I, and I'm pretty sure, depending on where, how you're shot and what you're shot with, you can heal. So, I'm going to go with being shot in both kneecaps, only because I would rather live in a, a build without an ability to walk. Um, because, you know, like, walking is very useful, I don't know. And I know some of you who are either have people, know people in wheelchairs or are in a wheelchair uh, will probably tell me that it's actually, life is a lot harder like that. Um, but I know... Would you rather be dead or in the wheelchair and have the life that you're living right now? Because you may have some ish or problems or whatever that you that are hand, I guess handicaps because really the handicap sign is someone in a wheelchair. Um, but you will have some handicaps and and you'll won't be able to do certain things. But there are other, there's other ways to do those certain things too because sports all have. Or, Lots of sports, including basketball, I know has wheelchair. Um, there's wheelchair basketball, and there's like anyway, the wheelchair hockey. I don't know. I don't know the name of the the uh, sport exactly. Um, can't remember. And I don't think there's soccer, but um, there may be. Uh, but there's all this stuff that you can still do that can help you pass the time. And I know this may I may sound because I I'm not a hundred percent educated on wheelchair stuffs because I'm not a uh, not in a wheelchair not wheelchair wheelchair or am I not or do I know anyone personally in a wheelchair so I have no really knowledge on that um, but if you know anyone or are in a wheelchair please be sure to educate me in the comment section below that really helped me out and would help me be um, more sensitive towards this topic I guess so I'd much rather be shot in both kneecaps. Moving on to our next one here. Uh, be best friends with Harry Potter or be best friends with Katniss Everdeen. K. Read both the book series. Um, Harry Potter is literally literally died and then came back to life and also beat uh, the, the, the biggest, baddest person there is uh, in, in, his, in his fictional universe. And then Katniss Everdeen has had like at least two near death, three near death experiences at least, because that's okay. Three books worth of near death experiences, and has gone through shitty times, I guess, of losing her sister. And I'm sorry if I really ruined something there. Should have said spoiler. Now loses her sister, loses her best friends, loses friends in general. 
uh, does stupid things, um, has her whole nation turn against her or turn for her. Uh, shit, there it goes. I don't know. Um, but I'm, uh, that's just putting that's that's thinking of how who I'd rather be, but who I'd rather be friends with. Um, oh, best friends with it says that. Um, I don't know who'd be more interesting. Fucking Harry Potter, he does fucking magic. That that's cool. Anyway, um, yeah, I'd, I'd much rather be best friends with Harry Potter. And moving to our last question here, where's the mouse? There's the last question. Uh, would you rather have a monster truck or a chariot with horses? Um, that's a hard question. Uh, monster truck. I know. Um, one of a dude. I, I would a chariot with horses would be cool. Um, but I'm I'm depends if 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 my chariot with horses had flames on it and big ass wheels, a monster chariot with horses, a monster chariot with monster horses, that'd be awesome. That'd be totally badass. I would so do that. But I'd much rather have a monster truck. Um, that'd be so cool to have a monster truck just run down the street and run the shit over people and things. So, uh, yeah, I would much rather have a monster truck. Anyway, guys, don't forget to, let, forget to leave your answers to the questions that I have asked uh, in the comment section below. And I, I would love to see your answers to these. Um, anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed it. And for like and share the video it does help the channel out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.